if you're new to fasting or maybe you've tried it before but you're struggling to see results, honestly, I'm not surprised. There is so much mixed information trying to sell you something. Fasting Tube is independent and focusing on real information. Let's get started with today's video. The question, will I lose muscle even while taking PCAS on a weak water fast? The largest and earliest source of muscle loss is exhausting glycogen stored in the muscles. Losing one pound of glycogen with an associated 45 pounds of water would be obvious but would be easily replaced afterwards. During hunger, as blood sugar drops, muscle is cannibalized for amino acids which the liver can convert into more glucose. Since muscle is approximately half water, that should amount to 12 pounds of muscle per day. Eventually, glucose and insulin levels drop. Insulin inhibits the breakdown and hepatic metabolism of fat. Once insulin drops, the body can start burning fat either as fatty acids or as ketone bodies and there is little need to cannibalize muscle. But while red blood cells require glucose, there is disagreement on whether the brain can function on just ketone bodies and how much glucose can be produced from fat. Even with that disagreement, muscle loss appears to stop after several days to one week of starvation or fasting and remains low until fat stores are exhausted or nearly so. One can minimize that transitional loss by switching to a reduced carbohydrate or even ketogenic diet before beginning a fast. BCAAs are problematic. Half of the amino acids from digested protein are converted into glucose on first pass through the liver and BCAAs are more susceptible to conversion than other amino acids. BCAAs can also stimulate insulin release directly and, as already stated, insulin inhibits fat burning, while BCAAs might inhibit autophagy via the M. Tour path, both muscle and fat breakdown occur through other paths. With low insulin, HGH rises to stimulate fat breakdown and secondarily does appear to preserve muscle. 